Okay, so have a look around this uh, 1987 Porsche 928 S4, finished in, I think the colour's called Baltic Blue, um, metallic, with uh, linen leather piped in um, dark blue, and uh, linen carpets as well. Not the most practical colour combination, but uh, there you go. Um, got a matching set of tyres on it. I think we have RZ900s. Let's have a look around this side. Yep. RZ900s, what size are they? 16s or 17s? Oh, I should have done this before I got the video, before I started doing the video. Can't see what size they are, I'm afraid. Um, PZ900s now. 25550 ZR16s. So, 16 inches. Um, certainly on the front. I don't know if the back ones are bigger on these or not. Anyway, whatever. Um, I'm rambling. Yeah, uh, 928 S4 uh, in Baltic blue. Um, generally nice example actually, showing just under 50,000 miles. We've got some history with it, but um, not enough to say whether that's uh, genuine mileage or not. Although by all accounts in the history, it has spent at least some of its life on Jersey. So uh, that may help to account for the, um, for the mileage. Um, but walking around it, it all seems pretty straight. Obviously, these don't suffer from rust badly um, because uh, I think they've got fully galvanised body shell on them. But around the front end, we've got a few of the usual chips and marks on the um, on the nose cone. Um, sort of slight bit of scuffing there and stuff. Hoping my keys aren't doing too well today. A um, little bit of scuffing on the front of the nose cone there, but uh, otherwise not too bad. Looking down the near side, unfortunately, it's just got I'll be wet and muddy. So a uh, um, couple of chips of the paint just there general scratching here and there and that's just a sort of a watermark. Uh, there is just on the back of the offside of the near side front wing here um, it's just lost a bit of paint just along there um, on the the edge of the uh, the edge of the arch but otherwise the bonnet and everything uh, wing is all good up here on the screen is always starting to delaminate slightly in the corners but uh, screen's pretty good this bit of trim has just come a bit uh, away a little bit just around the screen um, Near side door is good. There's a couple of big scratches on the door. One down there, one down there, one down there. A couple of scratches on the door. Uh, roof is uh, is okay. A little bit of sort of slight milky finish to the paint around the um, around the sunroof, but no more than that. The sunroof, incidentally, the electric operation apparently doesn't work anymore. Uh, but there is a hand crank on there um, where it can be opened by hand. I haven't bothered, but uh, you can do it by all accounts. Um, inside, as I say, standard sort of 928 leather, all looks pretty, nice. passenger seat looks uh, pretty nice and unsatin, as does the back, all pretty good. Um, carpet's not bad, it perhaps do with a, with a valet, especially being this, this linen colour, it does um, um, attract all the dirt, but uh, it's, uh, it's not in bad shape considering it's 25 years old, 24 years old actually. Um, Door cards, good. So just a general, you know, a general clean wouldn't wouldn't perhaps go amiss. Um, near side rear wing, a couple of minor scratches here and there on the uh, on the paint, but no more than you'd expect. Um, the rear spoiler is a bit tired. There's a few sort of one, two, three, four, five cracks in the paint on the rear spoiler, and a bit of paint loss on the back here. And as usual, where people have used it to open and close the tailgate, it's very slightly loose on its mounts, but. Um, it's not not surprising that people use it to uh, to to close the um, close the tailgate. Rear bumper and everything is all good. That's fine. Uh, and down the offside here, it's uh, it's all good as well. Slight mark just there on the offside rear bumper corner, but uh, no more than a very slight mark. Um, looking down the offside, it all looks pretty straight and clean and correct down there. Very parking dent free, should we say? Um, wish I hadn't got wet though. All looks a tiny bit of park paint loss just on the offside rear arch lip just there. Driver's door all looks pretty good. A little bit of scuffing just on the mirror housing just there. And the worst bit of damage on the bodywork that I can find is just here on the offside front wing. Just a couple of areas of paint loss here. It hasn't dented it or anything. It's just like two, like, two big chips right on the back of the offside front arch lip just there. Um, and that's about it really otherwise it's not bad at all wheels aren't in bad shape considering um, let's have a little look inside driver's uh, driver's seat 
is quite badly scuffed on the edge. Um, leather hasn't split yet, but uh, probably wouldn't in too much longer. Um, but it is, you know, it is worn on the on the bolster and stuff like that from people getting in and out of it. And as I say, the carpets could do with a bit of a clean. It doesn't help. We're on a farm and uh, everything's muddy at the moment. But otherwise, it's um, it's not bad. It's all there. It's all in nice shape. Good good stereo as well. This one. Um, that's about it. I think my name's Simon. You can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk. We take part exchanges, we take Visa and MasterCard credit cards and debit cards with a 2% surcharge for credit cards uh, and in theory we can ship it anywhere like in the world, obviously at a cost. That's about it. End.